Good morning, everyone. My name is Vicki Van Sickle, and I'm the author of a number of books. And I'm here today with the Woodstock Public Library to do a story time for my new book, Anonymous. Now, you might have seen some of my books before at the library, like If I Had a Griffin. And this book here is about magical pet care. And then last year, I had a new book called Teddy Bear of the Year. And this is the story about a magical teddy bear's picnic. Now you can find these books at the Woodstock Public Library and you can also find my brand new book, which is the one we're gonna share today called Anonymous. Now the title Anonymous is a play on the word anonymous. Does anyone know what anonymous means? So anonymous is a word we use when we don't know someone's name. So it's a bit of a mystery. And in this book, the anonymous artist we're going to talk about is not a person, but a, do you wanna take a guess? A mouse, that's right. That's why his name is Anonymous. And this is a story about art. It's a story about neighborhoods. It's a story about animals. And I really hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna flip the screen so I can take you through the book. And when we're done with the story, I have an anonymous challenge that I think you might like. It might be something for you to do on your own this afternoon or as a craft to do in the future. So make sure you're all comfortable, get nice and cozy. Maybe you want a blanket or a stuffed animal or a little snack. I'm not gonna have a snack because I'm going to be reading. And let's get ready to share Anonymous. Anonymous. Words by Vicki Van Sickle and pictures by Anna Paroli. See this pink line? We're gonna follow that through the whole story. One morning, a tired city rat made her way home. But when she got there, she found it had been transformed. Across the city, a colony of bats was settling in for a good day's sleep when they noticed something unusual. Very unusual. There is no explanation, only a name. Anonymous. Do you recognize that man there? He looks a little different, doesn't he? Suddenly, Anonymous's art was everywhere. No canvas was too high. Do you recognize what this is? Those are satellite dishes. Or too low. So here we see the wheel of a bicycle. Or too unusual. Sometimes it was funny. What's that dog doing? Sometimes it was serious, but it always made the animals of the city think. So you can see here, there are some trees that have been cut down and all that's left is the memory of their shadow. Time went by, the art faded, became obscured, or disappeared completely. There hadn't been anything new from Anonymous in a long time. The animals of the city missed Anonymous's perspective. They worried that something bad had happened. After all, the city can be dangerous for animals. Do you see any, any pink on this spread? No, it's pretty brown with that anonymous there. More time went by with no sign of anonymous, but his art left a lasting impression 
on the animals of the city. Do you see that crow? Look at what that crow has done. Thanks to Anonymous, they looked at the city in a whole new way. As for Anonymous, there he is in that scarf. Can you find him on this page? Always look for the pink. There he is. The world is his canvas. The end. And if you check under the flap here, we can just see Anonymous disappearing to the other side of the page for his next adventure. So that's the story of Anonymous. Hi everybody, I hope you liked the story of Anonymous. I had so much fun writing it and I'm really pleased with the art. I hope you agree with me that Anna Paroli did an excellent job. So some of my inspirations for the book come from living in the city of Toronto. I grew up in Woodstock, Ontario, like you. And when I moved to the city, I was really interested in the murals and the street art that I saw everywhere. And I knew that I wanted to write a book about it. The other thing that I was inspired by were the animals. I love animals. I'm a big animal lover. And I worried about the animals in the city, which as we see in the book, it's not necessarily always a safe place for them. So I thought, what if I wrote about a character, Anonymous, who makes art in the city for the animals that they feel seen. So that's where the idea for the book came from. And now I want to give you some ideas about how you could be anonymous yourself. So one of the things I love about art is that it really cheers me up. And sometimes it inspires stories. Sometimes it inspires me to do something nice for someone. And so I'm going to give you some examples of how you can be an anonymous in your own neighborhood. So the first thing you can do is you can get some sidewalk chalk. I like this one because it's neon pink which matches the pink of Anonymous, and you can write a message or draw a picture on the sidewalk in front of your house or on the driveway. Now, right now it's sort of snowy, so it might be hard for you to do that. So something you could do in the meantime is to put something in the window. So you could draw a picture or write a nice message. So this message here, I wrote, you look nice. And actually someone had written this on the sidewalk and I went for a walk and I saw that and I thought, now I feel great. So you can write a similar message or a picture and put it in your window and that will cheer someone up as well. And the other thing you can do is you can collect some rocks and paint them and leave them on your garden or the front lawn for someone to see. So this one here, you can see I painted this rock yellow and what does it look like to you? A smiley face, that's right. So I thought if you saw a smiley face on the road, you might think that that's sort of a, a fun thing and it might lift your spirits. And the other one I did, and I've seen lots of these around too, is I wrote a word on this rock. So if you look closely, you can see this one says H-O, except instead of an O, I put a daisy, P-E. H-O-P-E. Do you know what that word says? Hope. And hope is a nice message for us to have right now. So if you have some paint and some rocks, you can put some painted rocks in your front lawn. Again, maybe you want to do a sign or a piece of art. And when the weather's a little bit better, get some sidewalk chalk. And you too can be your own anonymous. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Woodstock Public Library. I'm Vicki Van Sickle. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay inside. Wear a mask if you go outside. And maybe find a good book and cuddle up. Bye.